from the park. I believe you're supposed to say something. Hey. That's it, yeah. With a question mark? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think that was it. <laughs> yeah, it was. All right. Checking out a new Civivi. In fact, Frankie, not even available at the time that we filmed this. No. It's but on, it's on pre-order. Well, what I was going to say is, yes, this is a new um, model, but then this is a new color of this model here, that which makes, we have a few of. Which we'll get in at the end, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, but we're mostly looking at the brand new spiny dogfish. Yes. Tell me about a spiny dogfish. What I've learned, all right, Let's is see that, how much uh, you paid attention. Well, I know that it's a shark. Yes, it is. It's a real, it's the real thing. It's a shark. <laughs> it is a, a real fish. Yes. Yeah. And this is inspired by that, I guess. It is. I mean, Gavco likes his sharks. I can tell because we have another shark over here, but this is the spiny dogfish. You mentioned Gavco. Mm -hmm. This is a Mike, Michael Gavick design. Yes. Also known as Gavco. Mm -hmm. Don't cut yourself, his catchphrase. Well, and we both got this out of the box and we both really, really liked it. It's a thinner knife. Yes, it's kind of a bigger knife, but it is thin, so it fits my small hands good. The blade length, Yeah. Uh, what is it, 3.4? Yeah, it is. Okay, so it's probably average blade length. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's short in height. Let yeah. me see here. Go ahead. In my XL size glove, very nice action, mm -hmm. it's actually uh, just fits. Yeah. Yeah. And what I like about it is, that even though it's a bigger knife, it is very flickable. For me, even, too. Well, yeah, we'll talk about the action on it. Mm -hmm. um, what is the price? It is $58.50. And we're talking pre-order at the moment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I would say that's typical Civivi price. It really is. And there's three different colors. What are the colors? It comes in, this is green and black. Yeah. Also, jade and stone wash. And then black and stone wash. Okay. Yep. And I like this texture on the handle because it actually does kind of, the whole profile kind of looks like the dogfish. It's a smaller shark and it has kind of scaly patterns on his sides and he has um, spines that can shoot mild venom into prey. This is all facts about the real, <laughs> about the real shark. Yes, not this knife. Not yes. the knife. Yeah. All right. No, it's a good-looking uh, design. Yeah, it is. I like it. The the textured scale does add a little bit extra grip. Mm -hmm. And then it does have a finger choil that's just usable enough for my hands. Well, and I like Gavco's designs because they're just a little bit different. You know, like they just he just takes like a design and then kind of has more of these angles to it. I'm gonna bring in the nurse shark too. This is at the moment our only other Gavco design. Mm -hmm. This is. Um, well, what's the make on it? It's it's a, a drop knife. Mass drop or mm -hmm. drop, yeah. yeah. But it was the nurse, as in the nurse shark design too. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. You can see some similarities. Yeah, you can. But They go swimming together. This is a uh, premium materials, premium mm -hmm. production knife. What was the price on this roughly? I forget, it's kind of an older knife. I would say right about 200 would be Somewhere, my best guess. Yeah, titanium yeah. and premium steel, mm -hmm. yeah. which we're talking G10 and non-powdered steel. What is right. the steel on these? 14C28 in. Which Civivi uses a lot of. Mm -hmm. yep. I'm a big fan of it. It's a good budget steel. Yeah, it's it's higher edge retention than 8CR13 MOV mm -hmm. and it is still stainless. Yeah, but even for me, it has a, well, and it has like a nice big slot here. You like a, a big slot, I don't like you? a big slot, yeah. <laughs> Not what he said. <laughs> Anyways. Back to what you were saying. Yes, back to what I was saying. It, it's very flickable. Well, and it better be because that's the only real deployment method. That's true. Or you okay. can roll it out if you wanted to. There's no flipper tab. There's mm -hmm. no thumb studs. It's just the cutout. Yeah. Which uh, functions very well. It matches the detent, mm -hmm. which you can't shake the knife out. I won't demonstrate that here trying it, but you can't shake the blade out. There's a the, table. Oops. The... the uh, Detent strength is just good enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Oh, and let's just double check. Can you touch the tip? No, you cannot. Oh, that's a recent uh, <laughs> sore subject? Is that what yeah. I was going to say? Well, yeah, I still have a scar. I had to go on 11 stitches, leave I think last it was. week because of it. Just kidding. <laughs> no, can you, is the tip buried enough? Yeah, when it's, it is. It's completely buried. When it's um, 
closed. Let's actually show that here. Set it down there. Well, here. Can you just see it right there? Yeah. Yeah. The tip is also, it's considered a reverse tanto. Okay. Here, hold it down a little bit. It's considered a reverse tanto compound grind. Um, gives it just enough tip for piercing ability. Mm -hmm. I've carried it a couple of different days. Yeah. Love that blade shape. But yeah, um, single deployment method. You can flick it. You probably want to be uh, skilled at your knife flickability, but you can roll it out manually. Yeah, yeah, you can. Yeah. I, I, I like to go both ways with wow. it. That's what she said. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. You gonna do weight here? Yeah, let's check to see what he gets. Okay. 311, like the band. Who remembers that? <laughs> 3.1, it's fairly light. Well, okay, steel liners uh -huh. inside there, and I noticed on the one side they're skeletonized, they're cut out for weight reduction. 0.50. Um, exactly average on the on the yeah. sca handle scale width. Yep. And 0.11. So yeah, he's perfect. Maybe slightly on the thinner side of mm -hmm. a blade stock. Yeah. Ooh, and, and did you catch that ting? It actually has a decent sound to it too. Does it? I don't know if it's going to come through on yeah, camera. Yeah, probably not. But it does yeah. have a good sound. Any blade play from the? Well, I've used it a little bit. But no. Yeah. Never. Takes T8. Mm -hmm. What about that clip? Maybe a T6. Yeah, it's, and it is just right hand only. Yep, right hand. Tip up, which mm -hmm. uh, is the way, I was going to say the way God intended. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a fan of tip down. It's since, not what uh, you said last night. Uh, see, too many strange references. Yeah, you're um, telling me. I used, to, I used to carry tip down in the old Spyderco days. Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Here, look, I was going to grab some random paper. This is not the best paper either because it's been like... Well, this isn't a fair test, though. I've, I've used it. I've cut cardboard. So it's not a fair test? That's sharp. Oops, sorry, that was me. See, now you're not demonstrating it well. I'm going to go through here. There yeah, it's sharp. It is sharp. You almost cut me. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it is. Nice design. Uh, I brought... Well, we showed we showed a the, um, the nurse. Yeah. The nurse shark mm -hmm. design, which is similar. Yeah. I brought... It's not a Gabco design. But I brought another knife that actually is Kinda similar reminds you of it, overall. Yeah. This is... The what, Fracture? The Fracture. Yeah. You can see the similarities. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, biggest difference here, it's a slip joint. Yeah. It's not flickable. No. Nope. That's what I really disliked about this knife. Mm -hmm. I forget if we did a video or not. I think we did, and it's been featured a lot of times. What is the price on the Fracture, though? That's what it's got going like for it. Like 30 bucks. Yeah. And I think it's on sale. But and then also, if you cannot carry um, a lockable knife, then it's a good one for you too. True. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, similar design, but uh, way better. Fondability fun factor mm -hmm. for yeah, this the spiny one, dogfish. This one you can't you can't play with. But here's okay. the is this the spiny dogfish box? No, no, it's not. This well, I was going to say, let's show what you get. Oh, I already have it out. The pouch. Pouch. Yeah. You a get nice a cleaning cloth. cloth. And you get a sticker. Yeah, a couple of see. stickers, actually. Oh. Oh, you get, like, you get a Elementum and a Baby Banter. Yeah. So that's typical for Civivi. Uh-huh. Nice little accessories that you get. Yeah. And then I was going to show the new Jade Baby Banter. Of which we have our collection of Baby yes. Banter knives. And this color is on pre-order also. And it's yeah. fifty nine fifty. We'll put links in for that, of course. But thumb studs, very flickable. Yeah. This is a Ben Peterson design. Mm -hmm. What is up, guys? Yes. Yeah, thumb studs only. Very nice detent. Uh, yeah, they they're just so fun to play with. These, These ones are just have become like, very popular. Well, and talk about, you know, like how the spinners were a thing. These pretty much are like a. a you're talking about the too. old actual spinner spinners. spinners? Yeah, you know how those got really popular? Like two decades ago? Yeah. Yeah. Back well, in the day. The modern folding knife can be Exactly. Uh, better it has than that. that same kind of playability. As long as sitting at your desk playing with a knife is okay <laughs> where you're at. <laughs> right. And I like the It's gonna fall through. Black finish. Looks yeah, like it's gonna it's fall through. Not going to. Okay. That's when I like the jade handles is when it has a black finish. Uh, the color yeah. combo, yeah. Wow, baby Vanters. We have a few. Which one's your favorite? Um, I do like the jade. I do too. Probably the blue and black mm -hmm. is my favorite. I still really like this one. What was it, the candy cane? 
But oh. I do actually really like the, the jade with the black a lot. It's nice. It looks like it's going to glow one Maybe day. Maybe it does. One day these will glow in the dark. Yeah. All right. Uh, available very soon. They're on yep. officially on pre-order mm -hmm. at Blade HQ. Put your $5 down and surprise yourself yeah. when it comes in. Let's bring back in the spiny dogfish. We'll close okay. this up. I think that's everything. Okay. Oh, did we talk about the steel? It oh. is 14C28N. Yes. For the spiny dogfish, mm -hmm. which is a very common non-powder steel for yep. Civivi. Um, we mentioned that. Nitro V mm -hmm. for the baby banter. Exactly. Yeah, which is uh, actually they're similar. Yeah, very similar. Yeah. But those are the two new ones. Okay. I think that's everything. We'll put links in for um, Blade HQ, Civivi, Amazon, yep. anywhere you can get them. Macy's. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You were saying like every store possible. Yes. Target. <laughs> Whole Foods. I don't know. They'll be next to the. They'll be next to the Ozark Trails at Walmart. I wish one day. One okay. day they will be. No, okay. Very nice. You carrying that, and I'm carrying this. Is that where we're carrying uh, today? I think so. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good stuff. If you made it this far in the video, give us a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Make sure to subscribe, and that's it. Oh, check us out on Instagram as well. I think we just did a uh, post, post on, on this knife. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.